Final Fantasy XIV is changing. Here's everything you need to know. In a recent interview, Yoshi P talked about his concerns with the game in 2024. The main point that everyone is talking about is his belief that 14 has become too relaxed and stress-free. Yoshi P said, from now on, we'll keep working to surprise players and surpass their expectations. But there is one thing that I've been reflecting on. As we've continued to operate Final Fantasy XIV, we've made the game more approachable so that it can be played without stress. But looking back on the last 10 years, we may have overdone it. And to be honest, I kind of agree. With the exception of Savage and Ultimate Rating, the game itself is really, really easy. Anyone who has leveled a job knows that unless you get a Shadowbringers dungeon or higher, you can probably shut your brain off because honestly, you won't need it. This is a huge shift from the game, a needed one. As someone who recently got into this game two years ago, the journey from A Realm Reborn to Stormblood was painfully easy. Some people will say the game tries to avoid putting massive difficulty spikes inside the mandatory content because they don't want to keep people from playing through the story. But as Yoshi P acknowledged in the interview, a game that has no element of stress will not be exciting. Don't get me wrong, 14 does have some really hard content, but it's all sectioned off in its own little corner and it's all optional. Which don't get me wrong, I think it's a good idea. I don't think dungeons need to be as hard as an extreme trial, but currently dungeons are way too easy to the point that I can honestly say that any dungeon that is pre-Shadowbringers should basically be considered a tutorial. This is a problem because of the duty roulette system. While I understand that not everyone plays the game the same, whether you are a raider, a limsa AFKer, a crafter, a G-poser, a RPer, or any of the other errs, we all use the duty roulette system at one point or another. For those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, the duty roulette system is like queuing up for quick play in a multiplayer game. The game puts you in a party with other randoms, throws you into a random dungeon, and spits out a bunch of XP when you finish it. And while you can get a current level dungeon or raid, you will most likely get a really old dungeon to help out the poor Sprout who waited 25 minutes because they queued as a DPS. Which goes back to my original point. The game, for the most part, is really easy. But when you get thrown back into a level 30 dungeon when you are at level 80, you really start to see how different the game was 10 years ago when A Realm Reborn was first released. Because not only are you playing through brain dead content, you also get all of your cool abilities taken away. The abilities that make your job interesting in the first place. And as you play 14, you start to realize that you're constantly going back to that old and very easy content. This in my opinion is what makes 14 a really hard game to recommend to friends. Because with some games, if you aren't that interested in the story, you can at least enjoy the combat of the game. For example, I love Helldivers 2, but I honestly have no idea what the story is. All I know is that I'm there to spread democracy to bugs and robots. And democracy is non-negotiable. But in 14, if you are stuck in the middle of a realm or born, it's not like you can take a detour and start doing some interesting fights that you see in raids. You're kind of just stuck there until you finish the MSQ. This is why I think the devs should make the game harder because difficulty can make a game more interesting, but it really depends on how the devs implement it. In the interview, Yoshi P said, Video games should, of course, include an element of stress, but finding that balance is extremely difficult. So you might be asking yourself, what can they do? And honestly, I think Yoshi P already found the solution in another game that he created. In Final Fantasy 16, the developers added five accessibility rings to make the game easier by choice. Rather than difficulty options, there's a collection of five rings. The Ring of Timely Evasion, for instance, will make Clive automatically dodge most incoming attacks, while the Ring of Timely Strikes will perform elaborate combos with just one tap of the attack button. These rings will hopefully mean fans of varying skill levels will all be able to enjoy Final Fantasy XVI's clashes. The reason I like this system is because it is all optional, which makes sense because it's a PvE game, just like Final Fantasy XIV. By giving players the option to choose how difficult they want their game to be, is in my opinion the best way to make a game harder for those who want it. Because if the argument against making the game harder is that casual players won't be able to get through the MSQ, well, with this, they can just put on a ring of easy mode and continue with the story. It won't even be a problem. And for the raiders out there already commenting about how this will ruin the raiding community, I have no problem with keeping Savage and Ultimate pure. 
and only allowing the Ring of Easy mode to be used when playing unsynced. There are of course other ways that the devs can implement an easy mode, but I think this is an obvious one for me. With the upcoming Dontra expansion launching this summer, it seems like Yoshi P and the team at Square Enix are gearing up to make some big changes. This will be the first expansion that I play on launch, and I am so excited for it. What are you most excited for? Let me know in the comments below, and thank you for watching.